a totally different from the Islam music today. Of course, I still had a lots, lots of questions. Moreover, much of many uh, issues in the Haikal's book was quite unsettling. But I left it at then because I had just started to learn Islam. So at that point of time, I, I went and uh, I went and uh, told my friend that see, I accept I accept Islam. I, wa I want to I, I, I want to be, become a Muslim. Then he asked me. Have you, thought, have you thought about, think about, you think about it for two days and come back and tell me. So then I came back and thought, okay, what does Islam, what do you understand by being Islam? So one is, say first is Tawheed, the principle of Tawheed. The second is that uh, you have to follow not only the Quran, but, but you also have to follow it in the way in which the, in the, the Prophet wasallam has advocated. And the third point was that you cannot add, subtract, uh, add, delete, or, or, or innovate any new r r things in this religion. These three points I sort of knew. I was clear in Tawheed, but upon points B and C, I wasn't very sure. I, was not, I didn't understand I, the, the relevance of the Sunnah or the Hadith at that point of time. I wasn't, uh, the qu topic of innovation was quite new to me. But so then I thought, I was a bit unsettled by these two. What does this mean? What does the Sunnah and the Bida mean? But then I said, then I, then I thought, so what should I do now? Should I, what, what is it, should I, should I, this is this one chance I have. I, Allah SWT knows whether I can, I will have this chance again or not. Should I accept the truth of Tawheed, which I know to be true, which matches the essence of what I've been struggling to find over 20 years. Or should, for the sake of temporary values, and I, I really thought about these temporary values, what does this life mean, your society? You eat, you drink, you satisfy your family's needs, then you mingle with the people whom you know in society, and, 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 then, you, and then you die. Isn't it? After, ultimately you will die. So is this the meaning of life? Why? That is what animals also do. You look at a hyena or a lion or any animals. They also eat, drink. They also look after their young ones. They also to a certain extent bring them up and they also die. So what is the difference between that and us? We have consciousness. We have discrimination to decide what is right and what is wrong. So what is, so what is the essence? What is the basis of contention here? Basically it is Tawheed versus polytheism. So which is true? I know Tawheed is true. So whatever it is, I have to accept Tawheed because I cannot accept the truth after 20 years. So then I went and told my friend, I'll accept Islam. Then he said, what about your family? I told him, Moiduti, uh, come after one month, he said. I told him, Moiduti, will you give me a guarantee that I'll be alive after one month? He said, no. Then I said, I know I have problems. I know the circumstances I have. But inshallah, I, I, this is the truth. And this is my only chance, and I'll accept this now. And inshallah, if I have the power, if, if I have, I, I will have the patience and perseverance to tackle the problem successfully in future. And that is when I said, "Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah," and I accepted Islam. Immediately after I accepted Islam, my job was terminated, and I was removed back to Trichu. And I will tell you, from my experience, that it's not that. As soon as you say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, a golden throne is brought before you, and then you are lifted in the air, and oh, everything will be solved. No, my friend, because the writings on water, la ilaha illallah, has to become firm conviction, engraved on stone. So, yes, you will face trials, tribulations, difficulties, uncertainties, but if you are patient, if you are per per perseverant, if you are submissive to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and if you const constantly strive to follow the path, would, the path of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ultimately victory will be yours. For victory lies in patience.